Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech, and today I'm going to show you how to downgrade your phone from uh, iPhone 4 version 4 to 3.1.3 or earlier uh, on Windows. Uh, I'm not going to bring you through the iTunes steps. I'm going to give you the uh, how to edit the host file. I've gotten a lot of questions on how to do that, and uh, in order to do that, uh, we're going to have to go through a couple steps. Uh, on the Windows side. Now I'm using Windows 7. Uh, this can be done on XP, Vista, or 7. On Vista and 7 you're going to have to do a couple things, uh, an extra step. So let's do that first. Uh, first we're going to go to uh, the Start button or the Windows button. We're going to go to All Programs. We're going to go to Accessories. And Notepad we're going to right click. Oops. I was unable to do it there. We're going to go to Notepad and we're going to right click under Accessories. Now it is on my quick launch. Um, we're going to go Run as Administrator and we're going to say Yes. And then we're just going to leave it open and set it aside. You can minimize it, whatever you want to do. Uh, that's all you really need to do. And the reason for that is it gives you administrative rights to Notepad before we go ahead and launch this. This is Microsoft's recommended way to uh, open host files uh, with 7 and Vista when you have administrative problems. So we'll just get that step out of the way. So now we can go and open the host file a couple different ways. Uh, we can do that uh, through... Uh, going to run and, and, and going into here. Let's go ahead and do the uh, fairly easy way. Go to computers or computer, uh, your C drive. Then we're going to go to Windows. Then we're going to go to System 32. Then we're going to go to drivers, etc., and hosts. It's going to ask you how you want to open it. Open it with Notepad, that would be fine. And there's our uh, our uh, host file. So uh, let me just look on my iPhone the actual thing we need to input here. I, I wrote it down because I don't have it memorized. We're going to uh, place this anywhere underneath here is fine. 74.208.105.171 space gs.apple Dot com and what that's going to do is when it goes to look up and verify with Apple uh, the older package to install onto your iPhone instead of verifying with Apple now it's going to verify with Cydia and allow you to do that or Cydia depending on how you want to pronounce it um, and it's going to verify and allow it to go through what we're going to do is with the host file we're going to save it um, Host, yes, save. No, we're not going to save it there. We're going to save over the top of the old one. <laughs> well, we did have permissions, but uh, apparently it doesn't like that. I must have closed Notepad, or didn't I? No, I didn't. Um, that's interesting. It didn't open it with administrative per, uh, rights. Uh, so let's try that. Under Properties, Advanced, yeah, it should allow us to do it, uh, opening it. That's Microsoft's recommended way for modifying the host file, strangely enough. Um, we can just uh, save it. Let's save it uh, to the desktop and just copy it over. So there we have. Here's our host file. And it's the modified one. And we can, uh, I'll bring you through this again, um, just so we can copy over the other one. But you guys get the, the idea. If you're modifying this, you probably understand that. But again, that's under C. Um, Windows, System 32. And then you're going to go to Drivers, etc. And Hosts. It's there. It's moving host now we have two files now one is file one is a text document um, either way it should be recognized according to Windows uh, we can just 
delete the old one and that will fix our problem and then you'll be able to use it what you want to do after that is actually you want to change that back if you want to verify with Apple servers again but that's how you're going to modify the host file uh, now you can go ahead and um, upgrade or, or downgrade rather to the uh, last version so you should be able to do that if you have any questions feel free to ask uh, did run into a couple hiccups you might as well uh, but not a big deal it's uh, as long as you have administrative rights that should be no problem and that's the recommended method to modify the host file from Microsoft so uh, you could put whatever you wanted in there but again do that at your own risk as uh, if you mess that up I'm sorry I'm not responsible but if you have any questions please feel free to ask uh, make a copy of your old one while you're doing this if you're unsure. Uh, that's always a safe way to do that. This is Aaron with Zolotech. We'll see you next time.